Okay, I, I noticed that the setup for the Huzzah board on both Adafruit and on Hackster.io, they left out a couple of steps uh, that uh, I thought might trip up a beginner, so I thought I'd make this video. So to start with, I've got my Huzzah feather board connected to my USB, and I've got the Arduino environment here that is uh, just installed. And what we want to do is we want to get the drivers installed for the Huzzah board, and we want to upload a sketch. And so that's what I'm going to step go. I'm going to spoon feed you on that. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the driver for the Huzzah installed and configurable in our Arduino environment here. So the first thing you want to do is go to File. Preferences, and down here in this Additional Boards Manager URLs, you're going to paste this URL, which is the target for uh, a configuration file for installing the driver. And the URL, you can find it on Hackster, you can find it on, uh, on Adafruit, or you can find it on the manufacturer page for your particular board, if you've got something other than a huzzah. So, once you've got that pasted in there, and I've got the link in the show notes below if you if you need it, um, but I would but that might be but by the time you're watching this, it might be an old link, so you you might want to uh, go go to your manufacturer's page anyway, whether that's Adafruit or whoever, to find the the latest and greatest link for that. Okay, now we just hit OK, but we're not done. What we have to do now is we go into Tools and then we go into boards and then we go into board manager and now that we've entered that URL there it should have a new choice at the bottom so we would want to come down to the bottom and if and there should be an 8266 entry here and we want to click on it see so if we when you click on it that's when the install button comes up see mine's already installed so it says removed but yours should be like this where it'll say install and there'll be a driver selection here. You want to always pick. You want to leave that as the default because that'll always be the latest and greatest. You want to always default to the latest and greatest. So come here, click install. Um, if you don't see 8266 at the bottom of the list, then scan through your list and see if it's somewhere else in the list. Maybe it's not at the bottom. But since it's the last one you just installed, then it should be at the bottom. Okay. So once you've clicked the install button and it's run through the install we can now close this and we can go to tools and we can now come in here and we should be able to find your board so your board should be if it's the Adafruit board then it'll say Adafruit Huzzah uh, ESP8266 if it's some other board then you're gonna have to find your board um, once you've done that you still need to to get the COM port. Now to get the COM port, now by the way I'm on a Windows machine. Getting the COM port on a, on, um, on a Mac is a little different and but I'm gonna go through what you would need to do on a Windows machine. To find out your COM port what you'll want to do is you want to right click, you want to go into the start menu and right click on computer and hit manage and that will pop up your computer management screen and from here you want to get to device manager. Now there are other ways to get to device manager. If you're having trouble get to getting to device manager, just Google Windows device manager. So and you'll and what you want to do is once you get in here, go into ports, com, and what you're looking for is this USB driver. Oh, that's another thing. You need to install the USB driver. There's a link to this USB driver on the Adafruit page. You'll want to do that first. So make sure you install the USB driver from Adafruit on the uh, Adafruit setup page. So I, I should have mentioned that first, but yeah, you'll need that. Okay, so once that's installed, uh, you'll see, so you'll see this CP210X USB UART bridge, and then there'll be a COM port here, and you need that number there, that COM number, mine's on 17. So what you would then do is close out of this. We don't need to set anything there. We just went in there to get that number. 
So now when we go to Tools, we can put COM port. Now you're going to select that COM port that you found. Your COM port will probably be something else. Mine is 17, so I've got it selected to 17. Now once we've done that, we're ready to program. Okay, so what you want to do is just we're just going to use do a basically a hello world by blinking lights on the board. The board has two LEDs that we can blink built in. So what you want to do is go to examples, go to basics, and click blink. And that will open a new window, which is fine. And that will have this code in it. This is that blink uh, sample routine. And what it does is it defaults to blinking a pin on uh, an LED on pin 13. Well, our pin, our pin for our for the huzzah is on zero and two. So what we want to do is either enter zero for these three, or we could have selected two. And then we want to hit the upload button. So that will start uploading it, and it does take a while. If you're a little concerned it's taking a while, it does take a while. So I'm going to sit here so that you can see how long it takes to install even just, just this short amount of code. This is just a handful of lines of code. It takes a while. Now you can see in the, um, in the view here, on the, uh, you can see some lights blinking. There'll be a blue light down here. It's blinking really fast. That's not our code that's blinking that. That's the code being uploaded. Uh, our program hasn't started running yet. You can see down here the progress. We've got 72% progress uh, installing. Once we get to 100% there, it's 100%. So now it's done installing. Now you can see on the video here, the red light is blinking slowly. That's our code. It's blinking once per second. And if we had entered a 2 instead of a 0 in these three places, it would be blinking that blue light over here instead. So that's getting up. So if you've got it blinking, then you have uh, successfully installed uh, your drivers and you are ready to start coding your board. And you can now follow along with examples on how to program this board. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks and subscribe.